What's going on guys, Matt here, and today the Lumix GH5's autofocus fix may have finally been found. Check this out. Pretty quick. Let me show you how to do it in today's video. But before I get into how to do this, I want to give credit to the man who found this. He goes by Yoda Yu on YouTube. I'll leave a link down in the description below. He deserves all the credit in the world because I don't know who else would have found this out. It's a brilliant idea and he dives really into the technical side of it and how it works and why it works. So if you want to find that out, check out his video. In this video, I'm just going to be sharing his idea basically, how to do it and some examples with some native lenses. I'll be doing the Leica 8 to 18 mil as well as the 12 to 60 and the Olympus 45 mil 1.2. So you'll get an idea of how the native lenses work with this fix and you can try it out yourself and see how it works for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into the settings. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so once you have your GH5 out, make sure you're in a movie mode. So I like to just set it to the default movie mode and we'll hop on over into our settings. And on the first page of this movie mode up here, you're gonna to wanna to go down to SS slash gain operation. And we're gonna change this so that we can adjust the shutter angle. And that's really the magic behind how this works. We'll select shutter angle and if you go back you'll see that you can now change the shutter angle with uh, this little adjustment right here you see right down here it's changing it but it's changing it in degrees of like that are way too big 120 to 180 we want to get more adjustment there so what you can do is go up to synchro scan turn that on and instead of having it at 180 which is what it would normally be at we can now change it to 179 just one down and that will actually give us similar results um you really got to play with the settings to see which one works best for you and your lens i know that 179 degrees is a drastic difference between 180 and so i like to just leave it at 179 just one stop down just one down and um also i like to adjust my autofocus settings as well i have custom ones set so um, you'll see here that i have the autofocus speed at five the sensitivity at zero again just play around with those and see which one works best for you but the ones that i have set work great for me and that's really all you need to do change it to angle iso turn the synchro scan on and you can adjust it all right in here now 179 just goes in increments of one now so it's it's much easier to adjust so let's jump into the lenses and see how this performs. All right, so we're gonna test this with the Olympus 45mm 1.2, apertures at 2.8, shutter degrees at 179. So let's see how the autofocus works outdoors. Alright, so now we're testing at the Leica 12 to 60 mil at f2.8, 179 degrees shutter angle. Alright, so now we're testing out the Leica 8 to 18 mil at 8 millimeters, 179 degrees. Check it out. So since the 8-18 is mainly used for vlogging as a vlogging lens, I figure I'd give you guys a look at what it looks like 
when you're using it for that kind of style and, and if it can pull focus back on your face. This is all on autofocus, um, 179 degrees. So let's take a look if we're to pan to something. So let's say we pull it out and we need to focus on an object. Maybe put it in front of the camera, back there. Now we need to bring it back to our face and it gets focused. Before, the GH5 really struggled with that. And now, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. All right, so I'm gonna give you one final test here inside, more of a studio indoor lighting kind of scenario and uh, give you an idea of how it tracks you. So I'm gonna move towards the camera, back from the camera. I'm even gonna use the GH5 card and show you how well it works in quick. So I'll move forward. Or this is at f2.0 at 179 degrees. All right, and now I'm gonna change the settings to 180 degrees. So I'm gonna go back to the normal settings of the GG5 autofocus and show you the difference and how crazy it is. So I'm gonna change the settings right now. All right, so now I'm back to the normal settings without the, without the adjustments that we did before. And I kid you not, this is the difference. Check this out. I mean, sometimes it doesn't even, it doesn't even find your face. I mean, look at that. I don't know what to say. I mean, that is a huge difference, guys. Check that out. I can't even find it, to be honest. Half the time, I can't find it. So let's go back to the new settings, because that is terrible autofocus. All right, now we're back to the new settings, and you can always tell because um, the autofocus actually works with these settings. So, I mean, there you have it, guys. That is how you fix the autofocus on the GH5. Remember, go give credit to Yoda, man. The link is in the description. Guys, gotta thank this man and share this with everyone with the GH5. I mean, this autofocus is comparable with Sony and Canon, in my opinion. So try it out yourself and see what results you get. Make a video, share it, spread the word. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope you learned something new. Try these settings out. And if you did, drop a like on the video. Go watch Yoda's video, drop a like on his. Let's spread the word in the community of the GH5. And I'll see you guys in the next one. What's wrong with the lights low? Just tell me what it is you're trying to say.